What is up, beautiful people? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ravi, and in this corner, we are all about self-development, be it personal, financial, professional, educational, all of the above. We are simply about being the best versions of ourselves. And in today's video, I will be giving you five study tips to ace that final. Now, I know it was a hot girl semester, so we got to keep that momentum going all the way home to final three. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Tip number one, my first tip is confidence. Yes, I know, I know, I know this is a study tip video, but I believe 90% of accomplishing anything starts from here. You have to believe that success has already been attained before you even walk into that lecture hall. Like, you already have it in the bag. I can't even tell you how many like exams I walked into knowing just a little bit of information, but because I had that confidence in myself and knowing that I was gonna pass, I came out doing just fine. So yes, confidence is key and that is why it is number one on my list have that confidence. Tip number two is to take notes. Now I know it's very distracting when you're in class trying to listen to the professor and taking notes at the same time. That was always my issue. I couldn't multitask. I know that. What I did and what was very helpful was to review the slides before class, write down the key concepts so that while the professor is going through the lecture slides, you already have an idea of what he's, got, he's talking about. So you are able to take notes on the little stuff that was not in the slides. We know professors love to throw those questions that are like, that, that he randomly said in the lectures. So make sure that you're taking notes. And one pro tip, what I usually did was to study my professors. And what I meant me by that is like, know how your professor like speaks so that when he has that slight little excitement in his voice, you know for sure <laughs> that's gonna be in the exam. I'm telling you, I used to study my professors and how they delivered their lectures so that I know exactly what they're excited about and what they would most likely include in the exams. Because most of the time, like the lecture slides are okay, are good enough for you to go back and review the major concepts, but they do throw in those little stuff that they say in class that is not necessarily a key concept but they want to know that you were paying attention so that is another pro tip that you can have on the side tip number three is to do practice problems y'all it's true practice does make perfect actually no let me take that back there's no such thing as perfection. However, practice does help you get comfortable with whatever the concept you're trying to understand. So do practice problems. And what I found helpful is that once you do the problems, sometimes you make mistakes, right? And those mistakes help you avoid doing that on the exam. Wouldn't you rather catch the mistakes while you're practicing on your own rather than when you're at the final hall, you do it there, you make the mistake, and now your grades are, you know? So do the practice problems, practice, 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 until you get comfortable with the concept. My next tip is for my creatives, okay? Make those lessons into stories. And what I mean by that is come up with fun, stories or relate whatever you're learning into real world problem real world applications so that it would help you remember better have you ever thought why it was easier for you to remember song lyrics but then when it comes to studying it's very hard to recall the concepts well it's because it's more entertaining like you enjoy the lyrics you have you're having fun with it so it's more exciting so make the lessons exciting make it into like lyrics if you wanted to create beats out of it like 
connect it into to real world applications so that it will be easier for you to recall. My last and final tip is to sleep. I'm telling you, your brain recalls much, much more information when you give it some rest. So what I advise is to study and then sleep right after. That's like the optimal way of retaining more information. Yo, I know during this time you're stressed, you really wanna like cram everything together, but I promise you, once you study and sleep right after, your brain absorbs a lot of the information. Um, so you might think that you are wasting time by giving yourself that rest, but you do need it in order to retain the memory or whatever you're studying. So sleep, 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 give yourself some rest, don't stress, and you got this. I already believe in you. You already know you got this. Go inside that exam with the confidence, knowing that you took the notes, knowing that you practiced the problems and you got your rest and now you're ready to ace that final, okay? Those are my top five study tips. Comment down below if you have any more. I know, I'm sure there are a lot more tips and tricks that work. Comment it down below and I hope you enjoyed or learned a thing or two from this. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.